Hey guys, this is Justin from BreakingTheCRE.com, and in today's video, what we're gonna do is break down loan amortization, loan term, and balloon payments, and what those actually look like in a commercial real estate loan. So if you're looking to buy your first commercial real estate property, or you're working for a real estate investment firm and wanna make sure that you're prepared for your next acquisition, definitely make sure to stick around for this video. Now on this channel, we talk about real estate investing careers and real estate financial modeling. So if you're looking to break into the industry for the first time or looking to advance your current real estate investing career, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Now, when most people think about a real estate loan, they generally think about a 30 year fixed rate loan that you get on your home or a rental property. But when you're starting to work with larger commercial real estate properties, loan products get a little bit more complex and things change as the dollar amounts change for those loans. So by the end of this video, you'll know the difference between loan amortization, loan term, and how a balloon payment comes into play with all of this and how this is all put together in a commercial real estate investment loan. Now in a 30 year fixed rate mortgage on your house, generally what you'll see is a 30 year term and a 30 year amortization or payback period, meaning that the loan term is 30 years, so you don't have to pay back the loan principal balance in full until that 30 year period is up, and you'll also pay back your loan on a 30 year payback schedule. But in commercial real estate, oftentimes this is a little bit different. So usually what you'll see in a commercial real estate loan is somewhere between a three and 10 year loan term, meaning that the lender needs those loan proceeds back in full at the end of anywhere from three to 10 years, not 30 years like for a home loan. Now with a shorter payback window, that oftentimes means you're going to have higher loan payments, which create issues for commercial real estate investors because one of the biggest things that commercial real estate investors are focused on is cash flow. And if those monthly loan payments get high enough, oftentimes you can see commercial real estate deals actually be in a negative cash flow scenario. And that's not good for the investor or the borrower or for the lender. So with that said, commercial real estate lenders are in the business of lending money, but also doing that in a way that minimizes the chance of default for its borrowers. So to prevent massive monthly loan payments that would come from a three or five year loan term, what commercial real estate lenders will do is oftentimes separate the amortization period from the loan term. So if you have a three year loan term or a five year loan term, oftentimes you'll see an amortization period or payback period of 25 or 30 years. So essentially what that means is if you have a five year loan, but a 30 year amortization period, you're going to pay those loan payments as if you had to pay that back in full over a 30 year period, but you're going to owe the full principal amount at the end of that five year period. Now this makes a huge difference when you're looking at calculating your monthly loan payments. So for a big commercial real estate deal, a $30 million loan is a very realistic loan amount for a commercial real estate investor. And if that loan is at 5% interest and is paid off on a three year payback schedule, that monthly payment is going to be almost $900,000 a month, which is not good for investor cash flow and not good for the chances of that investor defaulting. But when you change that from a three year amortization or payback period to a 30 year amortization or payback period, what you get is a loan payment of $160,000 a month, which is much more reasonable and much more manageable for that borrower on the loan. Now this leads to the question, if you have a 30 year payback period, but your loan term is only five years, what happens at the end of five years? Well, that's where that balloon payment comes into play. So at the end of five years for that $30 million loan, if you're paying it back over a 30 year payback or amortization schedule, what you're going to end up having is about $27.5 million of an outstanding balance at the end of that five year term. And essentially what that balloon payment is, is that full $27.5 million payment that's going to take care of all of your outstanding loan balance and pay off that loan in full. Now from here, this also leads to the question, how do you actually come up with $27.5 million to pay off this initial loan? Well, usually this is done in one of two ways. So the first is an outright sale of the property and using the sale proceeds to pay off 
that outstanding loan balance, and you'll usually do that directly in escrow. So if you hold the property for 10 years and you owe $27.5 million on it, hopefully you're going to end up being able to sell the property for far more than $27.5 million. The lender gets all of their outstanding loan balance back, and hopefully at the end of the day, you as the borrower walk away with a profit. Now, the second way that you might do this is through a refinancing. So with refinancing proceeds, oftentimes investors will take those refinancing proceeds after adding value to the deal over time and use part of those proceeds to pay off the existing loan balance and hopefully be able to pull out some cash to either return to investors or put back into capital expenses on that deal. So all of this put together is how commercial real estate investors can take out a three or five or seven or 10 year commercial real estate loan and still have steady cash flow every single month and ultimately be able to pay off those loan proceeds when they go to sell the deal or to refinance. Now, if you're curious about how to actually calculate all of this and how to actually build this in Excel and incorporate this into a real estate financial model, I've put together a real estate financial modeling crash course where you can see how to actually build out principal and interest payments over your hold period and how to calculate that balloon payment when you go to sell the deal. So if you're interested in learning more, you can enroll in that course for free through the link in the description below. So I definitely check that out if you wanna learn how to build all of this in a real estate financial model. Now, if you like this content and wanna see more of it, please let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel and sharing this with anyone else who might find this helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.